Lightstream is based on reflected light. The source is a point light or a parallel beam light, and that is essential. So already the focus lights that Dido Light makes have this capacity to be slightly soft while being focused, which is not something that lights usually do. But because of the coatings inside the optical systems, because of the way the lights are built, the way it focuses the light is absolutely unparalleled. Lightstream has three components. First, the light source itself. The light source is extremely small, which makes a point light. Then, through the double aspherical system, the light becomes a parallel beam light. The second item is the light intensifier. This is an optical system you put in front of the lens. It multiplies your output by 500% more from your light. The third component of the system are the reflectors themselves. So the reflectors are five grades of reflectors, numbered one to five. These reflectors you use uh, as tools to give character to the light, give texture, softness, sharpness, by using the different reflectors, which give you different attitudes of the light. That being said, if you focus that light onto reflectors from the light stream system, bounce it back to other reflectors, you can create, let's say, a three-point light using seven reflectors and only one source. So if I take four number ones and I take my light source and I flash all four at the same time, set on one tripod, I can redirect the light that's going to redistribute the light around the room. What's great with those reflectors is that they give you values that you can count on you know that number one is going to give you a four degree cone angle of reflection. And you can come on set and you know exactly what the reflectors are going to give you back. It's very, very predictable and they're stable. You can lock them and they will give you a very steady, very constant, uniform light. One very important aspect of light stream is that it diminishes the natural fall-off effect of light. If you use direct light at very close range, the fall-off is extremely dramatic. Within two or three feet, you can have a difference of four stops. Using the light stream reflector, the incident reflection makes the light much farther away, and that reduces the fall-off significantly. Now I may have a difference of two stops instead of four stops. The digital light itself as a source already minimizes this fall off effect. The reflector will do more and if you send the reflector to another reflector then you're just adding distance. You're adding a lot of distance to all your lights, adding character to your light, making the light vivid, alive, beautiful, naturalistic light. And isn't that what we're all after? The tools you have there are extremely precise. And that's what you need when you're working. You want to work fast. There's less and less time these days. You don't have time to turn around and make mistakes. You want to know where you're going. You want equipment that you can rely on. You want equipment that can be set fast. I'm talking about saving time, saving money, less hands on set with the double aspherical system and the reflectors you can focus your light and still have it soft each light source is a cost in itself a reflector is a fraction of the price of a light source so if i can multiply a light source without any loss or very little loss and i can take one light source and create three four five points of light using just the one light then i'm playing a winning game but the most important i believe is that in the end of the day what I'm getting is something that looks real and that looks natural.
this is the only system in the industry that can actually do that. You need the double less spherical optical system, you need the intensifier, you need the reflectors, and that's the key. This is significantly one of the biggest innovation I've seen in a long, long time.